you get that off. I'm uh, I'm impressed as usual. Oh yeah, that is one hell of a tree. I told some people in Santa Barbara right about here. it yesterday. I think it's going pretty well so far. Get a few of these lower guys clear. Yeah, you know, I'm just amazed that people don't eat black walnuts anymore like they used to. Remember when you were a kid? Did you ever gather up bags of not, them? Not in Halcyon. They get people get them all. They gather. Do they? Them. God, I'm, I, it's such a tasty thing. Uh, a lot of them now. Well, it's crows crazy. love them. Oh, do they really? How oh. do they get them open? They drop them from way up. Drop them like from they way do up, clams. And they leave them on the street. And then when a car comes along and hits them, <laughs> yeah, they put yeah. two and two. Oh, is he able to pick that whole thing up? I haven't seen that. I have to get an abalone bar to get him off of that seat. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not in a good way either. Good job, Bill. Oh, yeah, baby. How much did it weigh? 23,000. Pretty close. You good with that? Maybe yeah. help walk it over there. You, you'd be surprised at, at how well you'd be able to control it, but don't let it spin out too much. All right, smile for the camera. Dude. Maybe catch the butt when it comes when it comes over. I'm just kind of push heavy against it. Let that butt come around all the way to there. And the crew is here, everybody is here. All right, good job. <laughs> Biggest walnut I think you've ever picked, right, Bill? Yeah, oh, this one here was overall bigger, but the diameter was bigger on the butt log of that one, yeah. Well, here we are. We are at Pacific Coast Lumber, and we're going to take a peek at this giant walnut butt log. And as you can see, or maybe you can't see, these growth rings are very widely. It's a pretty damn big tree. You can see, I am 6'2", uh, and this thing here is lightly flared, and it runs pretty, pretty true at about four and a half foot all the way. Twenty-four. We're, we're trimming it to here, mm -hmm. right? I think we're we'll line up the step down there. If we were to trim it back a little further, pick a number twenty-two, mm -hmm. even twenty. Yeah, be able to actually, take, be able to take some rounds this way. It has yeah. some value here. This is pretty. This would be a beautiful figure in here. Absolutely, yeah. So, so let's arbitrarily say let's do a twenty. So we're, we're in in this range right here. We can mm -hmm. cut this here. That takes off this flare. There's a, another flare over here. Right, yeah. We'll have to... It'd be nice to have some of that figure in the big slots, though, wouldn't it? Well, but we have 64 inches, what the, the Lucas mill width is, so... Here, I'll... I'll That's 64 there? Yeah, right where I have the inflection of the, the tape measure. Uh-huh. Yeah. So there's, yeah, so you can't... I would split that. that difference a little bit. This has already got a little bit of a trim, although it's a nice looking natural 
grow over, but uh, I would split that difference a little bit, maybe. I'm thinking if we're right about here or so, built the mill right around the log. The log weighs about 22,000 pounds, so it's easier to move the mill than to move the log. We trimmed the log down to be 21 feet long. Working on the jacket board right now. Now, we, if you notice, the uh, gas can is above the bar that we have to go under. So once we get to that point. We're going to remove the gas can so we can fit the mill underneath the bar. This is a pretty big log, probably as big a log as what's meant to be milled on here.
not, not unusual to do any of these crazy things. I, God, I, I we used to have a everything but a trampoline by the wood miser, you know. Made so many gizmos that would allow us to cut these octagon parts and then shape them down into logs, hand-shaped logs. It's going all right so far. Uh, I, it's taking about one chain per slab. The metal's killing it, but other than that, it's coming through pretty quick. How did, uh, comparatively. How did the metal work out yesterday? Uh, yesterday it worked out all right. You got two of them, right? No. Oh, okay. Uh, just hitting that one spot there in the circle. Yeah. Uh, which just slowly moved from the right side of the log to the left. Huh. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's cutting. A little cutting. bit of unsound there. W wonder what that is. That's, did, did you park the uh, um, chain in this area as well? Uh, I might have for a minute uh, mm -hmm. for, uh, for, to try to help with something over there in the shop. Uh, and there, there's enough sawdust that when I parked it here overnight, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit further down, it just, there was enough sawdust that actually kept the wood itself safe from the chain and everything. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So you're already getting over 40 inch pieces all the way through here now. Yeah, I think this one is going to be for that uh, order that Sean only has for a slab out of this. Mm -hmm. Is this a lumber crayon? It is, right? Yeah. So it's waterproof. Uh, 